All right, seventh graders, lesson 65, racial problems here involving tools. And so let's look at the example here. We've got a ratio of boys to girls at the assembly was 5 to 4. 5 to 4. First number is boy, and the second number is girls. If there are 180 students in the assembly, how many students, how many girls were there? Well, so we've got five boys, four girls, so the total is nine kids. Down here we have a total of 180 kids and we want to know how many uh, girls there were total. So to be able to do this we can rewrite uh, the problem a little bit differently. It helps to write a, a racial box and this time we're going to have three. We'll have boys, girls, and always the bottom will be total. Over here will be the ratio and over here will be the actual numbers. So the ratio of boys to girls was 5 to 4, which is a total of 9, as we said. So that's just the ratio. That's reduced. We reduce the number. What is the real number? Well, the real number is there's 180 kids. And we want to know this number here, girls. Now, we know when we uh, do ratios, we only need three numbers. So I've got 4 over 9 equals something over 180. So just using these, this part of the of the chart, we can figure out exactly how many girls there were. So uh, we multiply four by 180. That'll be 720. Divide that by nine. 72 divided by nine is eight. And then you have the zero. So there was a total of 80 girls and the gym, a total of 80 girls. And now, using that number, we can look here. We see we've got the total 180, and this is 80, so 180 minus 80 means that there were 100 boys, in case we wanted to find that information as well. So we can find uh, wherever we have the three numbers down below here in the box, we can find the fourth number, and then we can go on and solve the rest of the problem as well. Okay, the example here, the ratio of football players to soccer players in the room was 5 to 7. 5 to 7 is important to get the words. The, the first number goes to the first word, so that was football, and the second number was 7, and that was soccer. So the ratio in the room is 5 to 7. So again, that's reduced. It doesn't tell us how many total, but they do tell us in the next sentence if the football and soccer players in the room totaled 48. So the total down there is 48. Now 12 or 5 plus 7 is 12, so the ratio total is 12. And we want to know the, how many football players there were. So the first number here we want to know. So let's go ahead and make our ratio box again. Divide it into three sections. Remember, this is the ratio side, and this is the actual side. Uh, the first number was football, and the second one was soccer, and this will always be total. So five football, seven soccer makes a total of 12 for our ratio. The actual total in the room was 48. So, again, we want to make a ratio over here to solve. This time we want this box and this box down here. So 5 out of 12 were football. So how many out of 48 were football? Again, we cross multiply. 5 times 48, that'll be 240. Divide that by 12. 24 divided by 12 will be 2. And just add the 0 there. So there's a total of 20 football players, which means now we can solve how many soccer players, 48 minus 20, will leave us with 28 over here as well. So we can finish these boxes by using ratios because in some places we will have one, two, three numbers. As long as we have one, two, three numbers in this form over here, we can solve for the other number then we can usually, in this case that was 20, and then usually we can figure out the other missing number. All right, that's it for today. You can get started.